Good morning. My name is Grant Kramer, and I am a professor emeritus at the University of Nevada, Reno. Are you passionate about wine as I am? Then you know that growing grapes, fermenting wine, and drinking that wine is good for the heart as well as the soul. And if you are interested in having some private consulting or direct contact with me, you can reach me at my new email address called drvinoinreno at gmail.com. I'll be happy to respond to you. So we're here for an update on my vineyard at this point in time. It's now September, the beginning of September, and we're heading into the fall weather, but it doesn't feel like fall weather because we've just gone through a tropical storm, tropical storm Hillary, two weeks ago. And you can see the grass has really greened up in this yard as a result of that. I was away at the beginning of that storm and the plants were slowing down prior to that storm. However, when I got back from the trip, the plants were showing potassium deficiency symptoms. It had been about three months since I had given them potassium. So I gave them another dose. In this case, I didn't use the liquid form of it, but added it as the dry form. Instead of 15 grams of potassium, I gave them 17 grams of potassium and I added it to the soil. And they've already started to nicely green up again. Clearly, I need to be giving potassium to these plants more often. The grass is doing fine without the potassium, but the grapevines are demanding more potassium. So I'm guessing maybe every one to two months that I should be applying to my soil type, given the problems I have with my soil and my potassium needs. After the rain, there was also a potential for powdery mildew outbreak, but as you can see, the vineyard is still being very clean, there's no powdery mildew showing up in my vineyard. So my treatments for powdery mildew are working. It's been a very hot and humid climate here over this period of time with the tropical storm and the monsoonal weather that we've been getting unusually for this area this summer. So it's been a very unusual year altogether, but the vines are doing pretty well. So prior to the storm, the grapevines were slowing down in their growth. And after the storm, the rain probably leached out a lot of potassium. So the combination of diminishing potassium and leaching of potassium appears to have caused a rapid decline in the potassium concentrations in the soil, developing into a rapidly and relatively severe potassium deficiency symptom. Several days after potassium treatment, the vines have definitely improved. You're still going to see symptoms in the older leaves though. Note that during the season, I have been removing fruit that are developing on the vines, but occasionally some are hidden from you, as in this case that I recently found. So in this season, year two, we are removing the fruit to put the energy into the roots and the trunk. And next season, we will begin to harvest some grapes. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then I encourage you to like my channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find other interesting videos like this one. Have a great day.